what's up YouTube? Today I'll be doing an unboxing, overview and review of the JBL GoTo speaker. Let's get into the unboxing. The unboxing of this device is pretty straightforward and simple. Although I was tempted to use my knife at first, a simple pull of the tape on top was enough to open up the box. We can go ahead and pull the speaker out from the box. And there it is, the JBL GO 2. We can see that under the rubber flap, on the right side of the speaker, is the first thing to disappoint me, a micro USB and not USB-C port. However, I do have to mention that on the JBL GO 3, JBL finally put a USB-C into the speaker. We can also see the 3.5mm headphone jack in case you want to connect your phone or device through a headphone cable rather than through Bluetooth. Back to the packaging, we can see that there is a white box that was below the speaker. In the white box, we have a look at the very interesting way that JBL had chosen to package the accessories and paperwork of the speaker. You can see the micro USB to USB A cable wrapped up like a burrito using the paperwork. There is no headphone cable included in the box. That is about it for the unboxing, and here is an image of all the parts laid out together. So, let's get into the overview of the speaker. The JBL GO 2 is one of JBL's most portable speakers. Like many of their speakers, the JBL GO 2 boasts an IPX7 water resistance, which means that it is roughly as water resistant as your phone. It should survive a drop into the swimming pool if you do happen to accidentally drop your speaker in. I would however recommend keeping this speaker away from salt water as salt water can corrode components on the inside if it does somehow enter your speaker. The speaker has an advertised up to 5 hour of music playback with its internal 730mAh battery. A speakerphone or microphone is included in this speaker, which is interesting, and it weighs just 180 grams, which is really light. Also just an FYI, it uses Bluetooth 4.1 if uh, you want to know. Lastly, the speaker retails for 6990 SGD in Singapore, or 52 USD. The retail price for this speaker in the US is $39.95 USD or about $53.50 SGD. Okay, so moving to the review. I'm going to be talking about three main things. Sound, battery life, and microphone. So in terms of sound, how do they sound? Well, to put it simply, they sound unmistakably like JBL. What do I mean by that? Well, they focus primarily on the lows. Uh, basically, they try to make the bass as pronounced as possible while not focusing so much on the mids and highs. Well, that is very typical of JBL speakers across the board. I personally am not a fan of this approach to sound as I prefer a more balanced sound profile. But I completely understand why JBL focused on a boosted bass profile for their portable 